I'm going to show you how I did the live stream with my audio configuration. So I'm using a Focusrite audio interface. It's the second generation. It's an older interface, like five, six years old. But you still could use it in a great way to use your plugins in real time. So the plugins that you're using, like the Universal Audio Spark plugins, FabFilter, all of that could be utilized live with some latency, but it's not enough to make a difference. So I just did it and it sounds pretty good. I don't notice any lag or any, um, any feature that would make the video look um, delayed or anything. So I'm showing that everything can be done in your DAW and going out into your live stream. So we're going to switch to the computer screen here and I'm going to show you a little bit of how I set things up. So in the Focusrite control panel, you have your hardware inputs. So anything that you plug in your audio interface, I have four, inter I have four inputs in my Focusrite here. Um, the analog three is the microphone I'm talking into, and the back two, uh, the front two, is the piano. So I have a combination of my DAW playback, which you're able to hear when I play the piano, and you're able to hear me through the hardware input. So it's all easy to configure. All you have to do is go into your DAW. I'm using Reaper here for this example, and I'm recording it while I'm live streaming. So you could see I got the Pro Q3. I have the multiband compressor, the fab filter, and a pure plate reverb. And so I'm just using it as a bus to send the reverb here to the main track. Now, the important part is this. So if you go to your device, I'm going to stop recording here so I could actually show you what it is. So if you go to ASIO configuration, so for the focus right, I'm making my buffer size around here. I found 96 to be good. If I bump it all the way to 16, you're going to notice pops and clicks. It's going to be more in sync, but you're risking the chance that the audio is going to sound weird. So I found that to be a sweet spot. There might be some intermittent pop or click here and there, but it's not any deal breaker to me. And so that's what I'm doing. And lo and behold, I was able to do a live stream without it looking weird. All right, I just wanted to do a quick refresher here for the Focusrite control panel and routing my audio. First of all, you could see that I'm selecting monitor outputs one and two here on the outputs tab. I could select any headphone I want and make a separate mix for it. But we're only concerned about the monitor outputs because that's what we're plugging out of we're getting the left and right monitor output of the Focusrite interface and plugging it into the Behringer U Control UCA202 little interface and then that is going into our smartphone for the live stream audio. So we want to be working in this output section, the monitor outputs one and two. So as you could see, you're hearing me now from a direct analog input. This is analog three on my Focusrite interface. Now, if I mute this, my voice will be just like that. <laughs> so you have great control. Now, what if I just wanted the direct input from my piano? Well, I have two microphones on analog one and two. So if I unmute these, you're going to hear the piano when I play it. As you could see, that's, there's no latency there. That's a direct input getting the audio right away from the hardware input. Now, so you want your DAW playback with all your fancy plugins and the great sound. You want to make sure to mute your physical hardware inputs 
because if you don't have them muted, you're going to get somewhat of a doubling effect, and it may not be desirable in the way it sounds. So all I have to do is unmute playback one and two, which is coming from Reaper, and then here I have all my fancy plugins that I'm planning to use with the reverb, and it will sound like this. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you want to know how to go live with great stereo audio and a really easy interface, check out Streamlabs OBS. It's an app that you could download on your smartphone for free. So check it out. I made a video right here. And also, if you want a free tutorial on how to work with your audio in your live stream, I offer that when you sign up on my email list. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.